welcome back guys to the On The Road series. Today we're uh, on a bit of adventure. I've got B with me, or Bianca, from the uh, Brisbane showroom. She's one of our team members there. We're taking the Warrior S3 walkthrough soft lock camper trailer out and uh, we're going to review the trailer for you. Uh, we're taking some back roads uh, up through the Angular Range through uh, Delaney Creek Road, which will lead us to Newrum Creek Bush Resort. Bush Resort. That's the one. We are towing the Warrior S3. This is a beautiful trailer, a uh, very popular trailer. But this is for serious, serious off-roaders who want plenty of storage and plenty of features. We're just driving through some beautiful countryside at the moment. We're just coming over a hill and oh my god the view is absolutely amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Words can't describe that. No, can't. There's a causeway here. Oh, pretty wow. water. All right, here's the entrance. Urim Creek Bush Retreat. That's it. Awesome. We're finally here. Now let's run through the Warrior S3 soft floor trailer. This is for serious campers, so it's a serious trailer for serious campers. Plenty of storage with this trailer, so we'll start with the front. The front toolbox is pretty ample, so we can run two 9 kilo gas bottles plus one jerry can, plus you've got further storage in the far side for more uh, bits and pieces. Both sides have an access door, so you can access everything from the side there as well. This here is for all, all your awning poles and this goes right through the whole trailer which is approximately about two meters long so there's plenty of storage in there all these doors will seal on a pressure seal with large latches now these are all adjustable so if you want to put some more pressure on those you can this part of the trailer here is our walkthrough section so that's actually a step that drops down so undo your two latches, pull it out, and then that drops down as your main walkthrough step into your camper trailer. You've also got more storage in here. So that basically means you don't have to open this tent up whatsoever to access any of the storage area. This is one of the best features of this camper trailer. Hang on to yourselves. Oh my God. Tons and tons of storage. This is about 1.8 meters long. Uh, probably about 400 mil deep. There's not much that doesn't fit in here. Probably the best thing to use this for is mainly for all your awning, walls and floor because that takes up a lot of room. So this is probably the best place for it. The great thing with this drawer, it's fully accessible when the tent's open. So basically, this will be on the inside of the tent when the tent is open. So you'll still have full access to it. Also too, we've put a media center in. DVD, CD player, it's also got Bluetooth so you can stream and also it's got a port here for all your USB devices and also a 12 volt power outlet as well. And to finish off this side of the trailer, another storage hatch. There's about 250 mil of storage space there, uh, about 400 mil high so they're great for uh, all different things that you can carry in there, again with pressure seals as well. So now let's have a look at the other side of the trailer with all the storage features there. Right, so let's have a look at our power management system. Now standard, this trailer comes with one single AGM battery, 100 amp hour. This particular model, we've uh, upgraded it up to a dual battery system. So if you do want a dual battery system, you have to ask for it. This is our mains breaker for our 12 volt. So basically to turn on all the power, we turn that on there. We're showing our volts, what ampage draw we're drawing off lights and fridges. And this one here shows us the status of the uh, batteries. 
This is an Anderson plug that you plug your solar into. Here's all our breaker switches for stereo, lights, our water pump, and also refrigerator. Now, if you ever do blow a bulb or uh, a device, if you pop that off like that, we've got resettable breakers down the bottom here. We just pop that back on there like that, and then we're good to go. So a little bit further along, this here is for our water tank. Now the water tank's 135 litres. It's got a checker plate guard on the bottom of it. It is secure, so you will need a key to access it, just in case someone wants to tamper with it. More, another storage hatch here. Again, 250 mil of space and depth. This area here is another storage hatch. What a lot of people like to do, they like to hang a hot water system in there. The reason why they do that is that uh, when you're not using it, it just goes away inside the trailer. Uh, we supply the Smart Tech system, uh, which is around about that $299, and that can be mounted on the inside of the door. Another little drawer here. Put anything you like in there. Put some recovery gear. Some people use it as a pantry, so it can be used there as well uh, for the trailer. And then again, front toolbox, the other side of the front toolbox. We saw this door here on the other side. So as I said, it's approximately about two meters, just under two meters of depth. And then we're back to our gas bottle, jerry can uh, toolbox on the front. And again, there's a door on the side there for side access as well. All right, let's have a look at the business end of this trailer. So basically with this trailer, we run a polyblock hitch. It's rated to two ton. They have grease nipples in the polyblock hitch, so you can keep them greased up and serviced. Rated chains with hammer locks. These are all Australian rated. Handbrake. Now this jockey wheel on here, this is an upgraded jockey wheel, so it's not the standard jockey wheel. So if you want to go to an upgraded jockey wheel, uh, just have to ask at the time of purchase tap on the side here now that's very important because that's good for if you're running a portable hot water system gas hot water system that is so you'll be able to draw the water directly out of the water tank and remember this is a 135 litre water tank so that's more than enough water so lastly uh, all trailers come standard with a seven pin flat plug now if you want to change that you've got a round plug or a different plug you'll need an adapter for this and of course, we put a rated 50 amp Anderson plug on the front there, so you're able to uh, charge the internal batteries on the camper trailer as well. So on the back, we've got two spare wheels. These are 235, 75, 15. Uh, they run a Toyota stud pattern. That's a six stud pattern, not a five stud pattern. And these are approximately around about eight ply. Now, they'll sit on this bracket here. If we just have a quick look here, um, if we just undo those two brackets there, this whole bracket will just swing away. Then we undo a middle bracket, fold it in half, and then we just lock it in there like that. So let's have a look at the kitchen area now. Under our rear latch, drop the door down. At Platinum Campers, we uh, make our own stainless steel kitchens. This one here uh, is got a large servery on the end. Four burner kitchen, self igniting. Now, little tip for you. See these here? Do that. That goes back over there like that. And that's how we expose. Don't throw these out. These are good for traveling, all right? So keep those foam inserts. Got a full uh, sink. Now this tap here, you can do the optional hot water, cold water, hot water, if you want into the sink. Uh, this tap will uh, work with the hot water system, but again, it's an option and you just have to ask for it. Uh, plug and if you spill anything here we've got a, another drain here with a the plug there as well. Just be very very careful of this top, it is glass 
so it sits on rubber grommets, so don't slam it down. So at the top of the uh, sink, we've got a large pantry drawer. We're probably looking about 1.7 metres long. It's approximately about 250 mil deep. So that would be uh, absolutely fantastic for a pantry drawer as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the other side of the kitchen. We've got two drawers, one's for your knives and forks. Uh, this one here, we've got our gas hose. And as you can see, this drawer is a self-closing door, which is great. Now this is very important. So we connect our gas on the other side of the kitchen. This one will go into a bayonet fitting that's mounted onto the trailer. This is one of the best features on this camper trailer. You'll absolutely love this. Is that a fridge slide or is that a fridge slide? You can basically put two 65 litre fridges. So this fridge is a 65 litre. And you can put another one there, which is great because that can be a beer fridge. The one here can be your food fridge. So there's full power inside that with uh, dual 12 volt outlets. You won't have any problem whatsoever with that. So once we've got this tent up, um, we look at uh, just opening up some doors and windows. Bee's already inside. She's just put a couple of spreaders in just to talk the uh, canvas up on the main tent. With the doors and doing windows, you always put a fold in it like that. Just helps you, it's a little bit quicker to fold up. Uh, once you go that with the door, for example, you don't have to try and roll the whole thing. Just roll one section of it. Nice tight rolls. We'll do that one first, that, that'll now hold that. So now that we'll pull that back out, and then we can do a tight roll again. It's always more beneficial to actually do your doors, roll them on the outside instead of the inside, it just makes it a little bit neater. Remember, nice tight rolls, and then it looks nice and neat. Okay, same thing with this. It's quite a large area. So we'll do a fold like that. B will do a fold inside here. Okay, so we'll do another fold in like that. So she'll grab the other side and we'll just do tight rolls. Now the reason why we want to do tight rolls is because this weather flap here, we want to tuck it underneath this weather flap. It makes it nice and neat and actually keeps it dry. Velcro underneath, beautiful. That was fairly easy to set up, what do you reckon? Yeah, fairly light, yeah, pretty lightweight too, work. Yep, that's good. And magic, lights, camera, action. Nice. Right. Entertainment system, radio, we're ready to go. So, plenty of room up here for sleeping. This is a queen size memory foam mattress. You can actually make it a little bit larger by putting some more infills in there if you like. Four windows insect screens. We've got plenty of drawers here for clothes. There's about three drawers in here. Plus we've got a courtesy light in the walkway so you won't be tripping at night time. All right, we're all set up, ready to go. Do you want a drink? I'd love a drink, thank you. There we go. That do you? Okay, there's one for me too. All right. That didn't take us too long, so what? Probably about 30 minutes all up. Yeah, it was great, quick and easy. 
Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, so if you want to know more about the Warrior S3 walkthrough soft floor, just give us a call on 1300 378 399. Go to platinumcampers.com.au or go to our social media site. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.